Hi everyone. So I wanted to take the time uh, to explain your uh, project to you. So I figured instead of doing a test, we'll do a project instead. Usually students like that better. So um, I'm going to go into the assignment and just talk about it here. So like I said, instead of uh, a test, we're going to do this project. Um, and what you'll do is you're going to observe an animal. Um, totally your choice. I'm going to give you a bunch of links and it'll be up to you to select um, an animal that you want to observe. Ultimately, you'll be observing it for about 30 minutes. Um, well, it'll be 40 total by the time you're done, um, but it'll be broken up a little bit. Uh, I'm giving you three class periods to work on this, so this project will be due um, by Sunday midnight because um, we're going to work on it Tuesday, Thursday, Friday during class time. And then uh, if you need more time to finish it up, you'll, you'll finish it up um, as homework. So you're going to click your My Document link, and this is what you should end up seeing. Um, so this is our virtual field trip animal observation project. And the next slide, um, I'm just going to put it in present mode so you can see the whole thing myself down a little bit here. So what you'll do to pick an animal, all of the animals here are linked to, I believe it's the San Diego Zoo live webcams. Um, or if you pick the, um, the nature camera, this will take you to an assorted variety of uh, live webcams. And this is the, the same link that you used uh, yesterday for the practice ethogram that we did. So that's that's totally up to you. You can click around and, and take your time deciding. All right. Oops, accidentally clicked it. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so our lesson objectives for this. So I want you to be able to develop a simple research design to plan the observation of an animal or several animals, um, make observations and collect usable data from the observation periods, and then I want you to do a little data analysis. Um, I am going to have you create, uh, you're going to be recording things on data tables, but I'm going to have you create a circle graph um, showing the percentage of time that these animals are doing certain activities. And then like a, a conclusion paragraph. It's nothing too major, but um, you know, I'll be expecting high quality from you. Uh, okay, so choosing an animal to observe. Since the goal of this exercise is to observe an animal behaving, you want to pick an animal or animals that you can actually see. You don't want to pick something that's just laying around because that's for a half an hour watching and just lay there is not a whole lot of fun. Um, so take some time to consider your options. While you can't control what will happen while you're observing the animals, you should make a reasonable attempt to achieve your observation goals. Before you start recording your observations, take a minute or two to assess the situation. Are you likely going to be able to identify and follow one individual for at least 30 minutes? If the animal is currently inactive, is there a different time of day when you might be more likely to see the activity? There are some of the cameras set up for uh, nocturnal animals. Um, the other evening I was watching an owl eating something that it caught. Um, so, you know, it kind of depends on the time of day or what kind of animal you're looking to, to observe. And then does it make sense to do all your observations in one block of time? Or do you think you should break it up into shorter periods of time, spread it over, you know, an hour or two or different times of day? So that I'm going to leave up to you because, I mean, it just really depends on what species you end up going with. Okay, so your first observation um, is going to be a a 10 minute observation and initially when once you decide what you're going to pick you're going to fill out this chart so you're going to put you know the date that you're observing it and if it's multiple dates that's okay put multiple dates and you know what i think maybe time of day even might be good the name of the species and i want the common name and the scientific name so you may have to look that up um, the location where is this animal located do everything you can to find out is it in an exhibit is it in the Serengeti, you know, where exactly is it? The weather conditions while you're observing and its habitat. And I'm looking for the habitat to description to be pretty thorough. Um, I wanna know if there's trees or rocks or 
you know, is there a pond or is there running water? Like, I want a lot of details, a lot of description here for, for the um, habitat description. And so your first 10 minutes, you're just, you're going to kind of just take note of what behaviors are occurring. Um, you know, is it, you know, foraging? Is it fighting? Is it, um, you know, la last night I was actually, I popped on the explore.com the, the one we did with the activity yesterday, and I was watching bears catch salmon in a river. It was pretty, it was pretty interesting. There's a lot of fish too. So, uh, you know, he was definitely foraging and there were other bears around and they weren't really bothering each other. So there was more of a solitary kind of thing. Um, so just, you know, make a list. You don't have to fill this whole data table or maybe you'll fill more. Maybe you're seeing many more types of behaviors, um, but you really, you really have to take the time and don't be general be as specific as you can especially with your descriptions you know if, if they're um, trying to catch food what is what does that look like you know if they're foraging or if it's relaxing what does that look like so I want you to be as specific as you can there this was uh, the sample that I showed you the other day um, of what you could use for some of these behaviors this is what they could look like as far as the descriptions and you really want to be definitive as to the description so you know what you're looking for while you're observing for your longer block of time okay <clears throat> so after your first observation I want you to come up with a question about that animal's behavior um, and I want you to base your question on the observations um, and also with what you know about the animal and I want you to do some research um, you don't have to record it anywhere, but I want you to do some research about your particular species and how their behaviors appear in nature. Um, even if you are watching them in nature, I want you to do some background research just so that you have a good understanding of, you know, what their, you know, preferences are and, you know, what, where they typically live, you know, all, all the details you can. Um, find out about your animal before you do your long uh, research or your long observation. Then after you have a question, um, a question could be like, you know, what percent of the time does a squirrel spend foraging? Um, how much time do giraffes spend sleeping? Although that would probably be kind of boring, but I don't think they sleep very long because um, it's not safe for them. And then how much time do the young, and I put, I was very general with young because it could be puppies, it could be I don't know, elephants, you know, whatever, babies, but so there's a lot of playing that goes on with them. Um, so pick a question, come up with a question that, um, you know, about, about the behaviors that you're seeing. And then develop a well thought out hypothesis to answer that question. You're not expected to be an expert on the species, so it doesn't mean your hypothesis has to be correct, but it's got to be testable, okay? Um, you have to be able to test it, and that's what you're going to be doing. Um, so definitely get your, your background research to help you um, come up with a really good observation question and hypothesis. And then this chart, if I'm going to go off the present mode, I actually included enough time for 30 minutes and you would be doing an observation every minute. If you want, if depending on the animal, um, you may need to break it down more and do it every 30 seconds. Um, but up here is a space for you to write your behavior codes and then you can do the little pluses and checks um, to, to keep track of all the, the behaviors that you're seeing. And then you'll be able to calculate um, those specific behaviors and how much of the time they're doing those behaviors. And I did give you an example down here. Um, so let's say you observed for a total of 110 minutes and they were grooming the animal you saw grooming someone else for a total of 28 minutes now this was obviously a much longer observation so you would divide 28 by 110 and then multiply it by 100 and so you end up with 25 percent of the time it's spent grooming other individuals um, so that's your your formula that i have down here for you and then you're going to create a circle graph um, I did put a little hint here, make sure you have a title, make sure you have a key, that you've labeled everything, you've included units, 
Um, I want to see all those details on your circle graph. And then you have a conclusion. <clears throat> this should be relatively long. It should fill the space. Um, I want you to refer back to your hypothesis and, and say, you know, my initial hypothesis was, you know, I thought they would spend 50% of the time sleeping. And this was supported because, and then talk about the data. Or, you know, it was not supported because, you know, they did this, they did that, whatever. Um, so you just, you want to elaborate on your hypothesis. And then it says, which behavior category did your animal spend the most time doing? Um, which behavior category did they spend the least time doing? Explain why you think one should collect data for animal behavior at the same time of day or at the same time of the year. Explain why uh, you think your animal's behavior might be different under different weather conditions and give some examples. Explain why behavior observations would be different in the wild. Um, and this is assuming you're watching something in, in captive, you know, in a zoo or something. Give some examples. Um, so this, you know, I want a lot of thought and an analysis in your conclusion. Um, this whole assignment is worth, I think I made it 50 points. So um, go back and just quick peek. I'm pretty sure I made it 50 points. Let's see. Yes, I did. So this is going to be, you know, a, it's equivalent to a test. It's going to be pretty hefty. Um, so I'm expecting that amount of work from you. Um, you guys, I know you can do it. You guys do um, deep thinking all the time about other stuff. So I, I really want you to get into this and, and show me what you can do. Um, just let me know if you have any questions or if you stumble into any, you know, anything that you need help with. Um, just let me know.